Welcome to the management and use phase of this course. As part of this phase in the building adaptation process cycle, we will focus on sustainable housing management. Did you know that in the Netherlands, two thirds of all energy related emissions in the built environments come from housing? So if we want to make our world a more sustainable place, starting with housing is not a bad idea at all. But where to start? In this lecture, we will introduce two principles to help you think about sustainable housing management in a structured way. Earlier in this course, we showed you a sustainably adaptive row house from the Prau Loger project. Well, in the Netherlands, we have four million typical Dutch row houses like these. Built in large quantities since the 1950s, and most of them are very energy inefficient. The Prau Leger house is an example of a high-end refurbishment. We have all kinds of homes in the Netherlands, not only row houses, but also apartments, high-rise buildings and villas. Well, some are new, others are old and well-maintained, while still other homes need to be refurbished. I'm sure that the housing stock in your country is also very diverse. Well, there are many ways to make homes more sustainable. And I will introduce some principles that can help you to look at sustainable housing management in a more structured way. The first principle is the trias energetica. At first sight, a rather complex concept with all that Latin in it, but the meaning of the concept is rather simple. In order to make buildings more sustainable, you need to do three things. First, you need to avoid unnecessary energy consumption, for example, by insulating your home. Secondly, you need to make maximum use of sustainable energy, such as wind, sun or water. And thirdly, fossil energy like coal, gas and oil should be used as efficiently as possible. Well, until now, we have mainly addressed sustainable housing management from an energy efficiency perspective. But we also should use finite resources such as metals, wood and stone in a more sustainable way by using less of it and reusing more. Currently, we use resources in a linear way. We take, we make, we use and we dispose things. And if we continue doing that, we will end up without any resources and with lots of waste. So, in addition to applying the principle of the Trias Energetica in sustainable housing management, we also need to close loops and move from a take, make, use and dispose approach to take, make and reuse or return. And that's the second set of principles we call circularity or the circular economy. There are also other challenges involved with sustainable housing management. For example, developing inclusive and mixed neighborhoods. Well, let's get back to the sustainability of homes in general. In the Netherlands and also in other European countries, we use a label system to indicate the energy efficiency of a, of a product. Houses have a label, but also other products like, like household appliances. Think of fridges or vacuum cleaners. G in this label st system stands for very energy inefficient and A for very energy efficient. Well, a typical Dutch row house built in the 1960s would probably have energy label G. So not a very good score as a result of inefficient insulation of roofs, floors, windows, facades and inefficient heating and ventilation systems. Well, currently, housing owned by Dutch Housing Association on average have 
energy label C. These housing associations are independent non-profit social landlords and they own and manage one-third of the total housing stock in my country. By 2021, housing associations want to achieve label B, again on average, and this ambition is part of an energy covenant with the national government. Well, new built houses currently need to have energy label A. To get a building permit from the government, you need that label. Building regulation is a big driver in making housing more sustainable. Well, if we want to make housing really sustainable, label A is nice, but it's not good enough. These houses still consume substantial amounts of energy. To make our housing stock really sustainable, we need to make sure that housing consumes zero energy derived from fossil fuels. An increasing number of new built and refurbished homes are already able to do that. And national and European regulation will further increase the need for better energy performance. By 2021, all new built homes in the Netherlands should be able to go almost without external energy resources and all additional energy needs to be sustainable. Well, the Dutch government has the ambition to achieve a totally energy neutral built environment by 2050. It's even possible to develop homes that produce more energy than they consume. In this lecture, we showed you the management challenge to create a sustainable housing stock. And we introduced two principles to help you structure your thinking. The trias energetica and circularity. And during this week, we will return to these principles.